Hi everyone, so for those of you that don't know me, I am Pat. Um, normally I don't actually star in these videos, I'm the pair of hands that you um, see to the left hand side of the cockpit. Um, I was debating whether or not to even put this video up on the basis that it was just a bad day on all counts, but I think it'll probably be a good lesson for me and a good lesson for anyone else that's watching it about things that can go wrong. Um, was a lovely looking day. Um, it turned out that actually there was a bit more crosswind than I was prepared to deal with, uh, which made life interesting. Um, also, I had a little bit of a door problem that I didn't notice until I was up in the air, um, and that was a real lesson in check the bloody doors. Um, and to top it all off, um, my mother was visiting to see me fly and managed to talk away into the tower, so heard the whole thing. On top of which, during my slightly hairy moment, I also didn't notice I had the PTT button held down, so the entire airfield heard me screaming and shouting as I was failing my landing. So anyway, um, I'm going to cut straight to the takeoff and um, the, the flying bit, um, and hope you enjoy my humiliation. Okay, so off we go. A bit of a rattle in here. Um, okay, so it speeds up to 40 knots. Start with a bit of back pressure. 50 knots. Okay, and we're going to head out to 500 feet. There's definitely a crosswind up here. So we need to be careful of that. Very careful of that. Okay, so we're heading up towards 500 feet, keeping a good eye out. Right, we have a bit of a problem with this door as well. Okay, 500 feet, so we're now going to make our... We're going to drop the flap, trim, and we're going to make our turn onto our crosswind. Heading up to 800 feet. Okay, and we're going to level off at 800. Start the power back. And turn downwind. Yeah, I think I can see someone over in this, over directly. Whoa, okay, so there's something over there, so I'm going to turn away from it. can't tell if it's an aircraft or not, but I'm going to keep out of its way. Right, shot the power back to about 70%. Trim. Do my downward checks. Okay, so undercarriage is down, parking brake is off, fuel pump is on, fuel is good, hatches and harnesses well, harness isn't good, actually, because I've got a crack in this door, uh, which I'm going to need to sort out. Um, I'll say I'm radio student, Golf Golf Sierra, downwind for runway 24. Golf Golf Sierra, Roger. So, I'm going to cruise down, and I'm actually going to land, and, uh, well, first things first, to be honest, I'm going to check out this crosswind, because um, 
that was a little hairy on takeoff, um, so I want to make sure that I'm still good for that. So let's see what the landing, see what finals like, um, and then uh, then we'll make a judgment call. Anyway, we'll just keep doing our lookout. The uh, crosswind ends up being too bad. I'm probably going to um, call it a day, but because of the moment I need to be sure I know what I'm doing. Okay, so we're heading downwind. Um, there's the uh, Iron Age Hill Fort in front of us. Wind up here seems fine actually, it might just be low level crosswind on the runway. So we'll, uh, we'll see what our landing looks like, but I do need to get this door sorted out, if for no other reasons. It's a bit bloody freezing in here. The more because I'm worried it's going to blow off. Okay, so maintaining our lookout, and we'll start our turn onto our base leg. Circuit still looks clear. Okay, so we're lining up on our visual reference of our little house there. So once again, as yesterday, as day before yesterday rather, um, this is going to be all about landing on the numbers. Again, we're looking for 75 knots. <coughs> yeah, there is a bit of a crosswind going on here. So we're going to need to be careful. OK, so we're going to make our turn on to final. Maintaining 75 knots. Now on the circuit. Also, I'm ready, so you can drop Golf Sierra uh, on final for landing. Golf Golf Sierra, runway C4, wind 320 degrees, 8 knots. Golf Golf Sierra. OK. Too fast. So, drop the speed. Golf Golf Sierra, sorry. Runway 24. Copy, Golf Golf Sierra. Okay, so, cut the speed. Golf Golf Sierra going around. Golf Golf Sierra, Roger. Okay, so, stuff that. That did not go well. Okay, so we're going to climb out again. This crosswind is a bit of a bugger, actually, so... Um, uh, Golf Golf Sierra from Oxford Beacon, we still have the PPP. Coffee, 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 Sierra. Uh, there's a bit. Of, there's quite a crosswind going on up here, actually. So I'm probably going to do one go around and then land. Okay, so we're going to climb out. We're going to go around again. Try that again, and then we're going to stick it down. To be honest with you, because the wind up here is a bit hairy. Uh, I, I'd sooner not embarrass myself.
So once again, keep an eye on the circuit. So the problem is with the with the wind, I ended up coming a lot higher and a lot faster than I intended to. So um, we're going to have to figure that out on the uh, on the way round again. So I'm probably going to come in longer on my final than I did, um, and then. Um, Spend a bit more time getting myself organised for uh, for landing. Okay, so we're going to come round onto our downwind again. Even making sure we keep a good lookout for anything else that's going on. So dry down and checks, uh, undercarriage is still down, one hopes, uh, parking brake is still off, uh, fuel pump's on, fuel is still good, hatches and harnesses are still dodgy, uh, look out, there isn't anyone in the circuit, um, so we're going to observe a radio, goal, uh, student golf, golf Sierra, downwind from my 2 for landing. Golf Sierra, roger. Okay, so we're going to try that again. Um, no harm doing a go around. In fact, I would soon do a go around, then completely stuff it up. Break an airplane and break me. Although that did get my heart pumping a little bit, I have to say. So, in order to deal with this crosswind, I'm going to come in slightly further to the right of the airfield than I normally would do, on the basis that it should then start sort of blowing me in towards the uh, to the runway threshold. So we're going to go a little bit longer out than we normally would do. Okay, so I'm going to start my turn. That is still looks good. We'll make our turn onto base. Normally I'd head towards that little um, little house there, but I'm going to go a bit further out this time. Okay, circuit still looks clear. Power. Give ourselves some flap. Retrim for 75 knots. Okay, keeping an eye on the circuit. Keeping an eye on where I intend to actually land. We'll now make our turn onto final. Actually, we're going to make our turn onto final a little late. Do that now. Okay, keep an eye on the circuit. Looks good. I'll turn ready, student Golf Golf Sierra on final for two four. Coco Sierra, runway 24, wind 320 degrees, 8 knots. Okay, so... 
feels a little bit better. Watch the speed. Watch the angle. Let myself get swept in a bit. Okay. Watch the speed. Okay. So, here we go. Okay, hold off. Hold off. Hold off. That is brakes. Breaking, breaking, breaking. Okay, and we're done. So that was a little hairy for me, so I'm going to call it a day for that. Alternate radio, Golf, Golf Sierra, Romeo Cage. Okay. Golf Sierra, thank you. Well done, Mother, over and out. Oh, God. Uh, oh, what's again? Sorry, student, student golf, Golf Sierra, oh, God. Hello. So that's embarrassing, so that's my mother up in the tower. Um, there was ever a day that I didn't want an audience. Today was it.